Hello and welcome back to more Tales of Fantasia. Today we are in the desert because we're looking for Edward, I think. Not so far. Okay, I'm just gonna go in this village because this is like the only place we know in this place, so... You know. I can't believe how hot it is. We've been here. <laughs> We've literally been here several times. Anyone traveling this desert must have stopped in this village. Let's try asking that man. That could be him. I... you know Edward? Excuse me. What is it? Did a man named Edward come through here? Edward? Oh yeah, that traveler came through just recently. Do you know where he is now? He seemed to be in a hurry, like he had some business to take care of. Well, great. I imagine he probably made his way to the oasis in the southeast of the village by now. Thank you. We leave now and we might be able to catch up to him, let's hurry. Do I need to stock up on anything? Not really. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway. Am I hurt? No. Archers use like 4 TP. But the southeast of the village makes it sound like it's in the village. I feel like that's not true. Anyway, I'm gonna double check the equipment shop. It probably is nothing in particular. Like, nothing different. Nothing new. I don't really think we're gonna get anything better for a crest here. Or at any stage. Yeah, I didn't think so. But you know what? It was worth a try. We have 70,000 gold. Gald. When did that happen? Can I talk to this guy again? He's, he's literally gone. Oh my god. Right. Did he say it's southeast of the village or southeast in the village? That's logic. <laughs> okay, I guess it's southeast of the village. Oh, there it is, I see it. <laughs> okay, I probably walked past that a thousand times. <laughs> Edward, please be in here. There's a dog. Can we talk to that instead? That's not what I wanted to do. I fully expected that place to be larger. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm sitting on the hunch. I'm gonna pull my chair in. Yeah. Hello, doggy. Okay. Well, doggy, I'm gonna need you to get out of the way. Hi, are you Edward? Edward? Oh yeah, he went to the oasis north of here. Oh, is this gonna be a running back and forward between oasises? What do you mean north of here? I don't see any else. Right, I guess it's over here, probably. I'm just gonna scan. It's gonna be like... You ever played, um... Paper Mario with Thousand Year Door? Like, is it gonna be like that? That part of the end? Where... You get sent on a... Um, wild goose chase? Because they're like, oh, he, he must have been in the first area. And they're like, no, he's in the second, no, he's in the third, no, he's in the fourth, no, he's in the fifth. And then you, like, loop the entire world, and then turns out he was in his own home, which was right beside the guy you spoke to, like, the entire time. And it was sort of like, hmm, okay, all right. Right, okay, this is the next oasis. I'm so glad there's so many oasises, though. Like, this seems like a desert you could survive in. For, like, a period of time. I... I dwell in the wonderful world of flavor. Would you like a taste of my world? Let's get cooking. Fruit juice? Ooh. I would love to drink some fruit juice right now. That could actually be really useful if it does something. I, I, yeah, I don't really know what I meant by that. Um, I'm gonna change you back to focus and support. Um, what was I looking at? Fruit juice? TP? Oh, that's good, actually. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to buy some ingredients for that. I found some alcohol. Edward? 
Excuse me, did the man named Edward come through here? What? What was that? I said, did the man named Edward come through here? You you want to find some snails? What snails? Just now you asked about escargot, right? It was Edward. You only got the first letter right. That was a joke. It wasn't funny, Mr. Old Man. Looking for Edward, he went to the oasis further north. Okay. Okay. Let's see, these plants are really pretty. I don't know what they're supposed to be, but I enjoyed them. They're like, I was gonna say like cactus plants. Okay, where's the further north one? The new skin? Okay. <laughs> I appreciate his um, dedication. Anyway, this has to be the last one because there's nowhere else to go. <laughs> So I feel like even though these, I feel like these guys should probably be more intimidating to me, but I feel like after, well I've already grinded here for ages also, but the fact that I spent so long fighting Caveman and whatever the hell else was in that mine for so long that anything else is not just like normal. Also these guys have so much less health, I just killed them off screen. so itchy. I injured myself in work yesterday. Just I don't know why that reminded me of it. But um you know those like Okay, I have to go into the trees. You know those like paper tile dispenser things that you find in like bathrooms sometimes? So where I was working yesterday I had one of those hanging up above the bin. But what they had done was they had um they'd um, taken off like the outside casing and the tiles like apart from like the bottom bit so what had happened was it's just the bit that jutted out and I didn't see it so I, <laughs> I <laughs> ooh that would be good um I want to give it a mint I think oh my god um, yeah, so what happened was I went to go put something in the bin, so I leaned in. I don't know why I had to lean in, um, and like <laughs> whacked my head straight off um, the thing. So I cut my head open, and I didn't notice until later. Like I was looking at something one of the girls was showing me, and um, I scratched my head, and I looked at my fingers, and they had blood on them. And I turned to her, and I was like, is my head bleeding? And she's like, no, it's dried up now. And I was like, no one thought to tell me that my head was bleeding. <laughs> Anyway, Edward, the guy said he was going back to Olive Village. Oh my god. I was right. So we just missed him. Anyway, let's hurry back. Oh. Thank you. But also, I wanted to explore a bit more. I'm glad I opened those chests before I did that. Edward should have made it back here by now. Let's try asking that man again. Hi. Excuse me. What is it? I know he asked before, but have you seen Edward since then? Yeah, I saw him head to the inn just a little while ago. Thank you. I'm so sick of this man's antics. This man better have a unique sprite. Oh my god, is he he's not here. Are you Excuse me, did the man named Edward come here? Edward? Yeah, he came here, alright. He was searching for basilisk scales. It seems he was asking about them all over the place. They're extinct. So I've been told. Well, they're using that miracle cure, right? Yeah, exactly. I'm impressed you know it. But they're not easy to get, especially in large quantities. Basilisks. What are those? They're a terrible monster for the people of the desert. Edward did leave a message here. He said if anyone came here in possession of basilisk scales, let him know right away. After saying that, he bounded out of here again. How are we supposed to let him know? If we can bring down a basilisk, we may be able to collect its scales. Anyway. Welcome, will you be staying with us? I, I, yeah, you know what, when I'm here. I'm made of money in this game. I don't need to worry about the financial repercussions of staying at the inn anymore. Unless I buy, like, loads of equipment. I don't know where I'm gonna do that. Probably Midgard City. If we ever make it right. So, 
basilisks. So, like, they've been exterminated according to this. Hi, do you know where I can find one? Wow, oh, they're Scorcher. Anyone... What about this random house? Do you have any basilisks in here? Any people in here? Yeah, there's a child. That's probably a full-grown adult. At least here's a cave where spirits said to live. I've been there. He doesn't live there anymore. <laughs> he lives with me now. Um... Uh, hey. Do you have any information for me? No. No, I want to. I want to find a basilisk. Why am I coming? Why did I come in here? I don't need any of this. I can't afford half of it. Even though I made a money, I still can't afford half of it. I feel like there was someone in the grocers. Oh, I also want to buy apples, bananas, and strawberries. Okay, there's too many people in here. You know what the basilisk? The monster lives in the desert. Okay. So it's just in the desert? You're affected by stone panacea bottles. I've got 15 of them. Okay. Okay, so I have to just find one, I guess. People are out there in the desert. Okay. I, um, do you have any fruit? Um, I think I'll go with the fruit bag. I've got like, like 12 apples. You don't have any bananas or the other thing that I needed. I said it like five seconds ago. Um, bananas and strawberries. Okay, next time I find a shop with those in it, I will buy 15 of each. I'm only allowed to carry 15 apparently. Right, okay. I'm gonna see it first because from all accounts, basilisks basilisks are um scary. Edward,私は、バジリスクの鱗を集めているようですね。宿屋の主人の話では、それが彼に合う近道らしいが。へえ、石になりたくないよ。でも、ちゃんと対処して戦えば大丈夫なんでしょ? もちろん。Okay, so do I just have to wander the desert now? Because <laughs> I didn't come across any before. Maybe it's like scripted. Um, right, let's just wander around a bit. Look around the desert. We might come across one. Maybe this will be it. No, it's a, that, that is literally just a snake. We bought a call to the basilisk because I don't know if that was necessary. Like she's gonna be hot. She's gonna evaporate. Right, okay. I assume there's gonna be some place where I can find a basilisk. Like, it's not just gonna be you have to get a random encounter with a basilisk because that could take god knows how long. Because it's random, and they're probably rare enough if they're like evil creatures. Unless it's this. No, it's just a scorpion. Okay, well, a freak can come, I guess. Right, I finished my tea before it went cold. This is an achievement for me, because in all honesty, I love my cups of tea, because I'm a stereotype, but um, it's very easy for me to forget about them. Right, I'm gonna go with the end of that peninsula, actually, um, and see if there's anything out there. There's like the peninsula of power. Hi, anybody out here? Edward? No? Random encounter with Edward, that would be lovely. Oh, here we go. Right, okay. Liquor bottle. Gonna use on me. Okay, okay. So hopefully this is just like a normal... A normal encounter. And it's just... Yeah. Okay, I feel like it's gonna be slightly more difficult. No. 
Right. This is fine. Lenson has like 12 million health for some reason. But even still, we're like... <laughs> we're going through it quite quickly. Let's try to eat mint. That was fine. You people are like concerned about nothing. Do I need one or do I need several? Because he's talking about large quantities. <laughs> Me too, honestly. Um, right. There's nothing out here. So let's just turn around and... You know, we've only got one. But I'll head back. And I sort of know the... The how to get the Basilisk skills now. So this will be less... Not less difficult. Um, because it wasn't particularly difficult to begin with. But it'll be like... I'll know what I'm doing now. I really don't think that was necessary. Like, we don't really need to bring, like, God to kill those two snakes. <laughs> but you know what? Eclipse is nothing but extra. And nothing but if, nothing if but extra. I was like, I forgot the phrase. <laughs> but I appreciate that about him. And if he wasn't so extra, we probably wouldn't do as much damage as we do. And I would have looked at that basilisk and been like, it probably doesn't have that much health. And then it would have, like, obliterated the entire party. Anyway, feel free to go ham on these guys because they're flyers. I was about to say, if you cast self, I swear to god. I hate this large guy. Those sprites are disgusting, actually. I didn't even do that much damage. Okay, it did like 400 and something. There we go. Okay, if this isn't enough skills, which I have a feeling it won't be, I hope the innkeeper tells me, you need this many, so that I don't like go and get like 10 and turns out I only did three, or I get three and turns out I needed 10. You know, that sort of way. Hi. Are those basilisk skills you've got there? Only a few of them, I see. Five or six of them. Okay, thank you for... Actually, I do want to use the inn. Yeah, thanks. Okay, five or six. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I have to go grind basilisks now. Okay, that's fun. Um, cool, 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 cool. Um... <laughs> okay, no, it's fine. Like, it's not the worst thing. It wasn't a particularly difficult encounter, which, to be fair, if it was really difficult, I will be upset that they made me do it six times, but the fact that it is, like, easy enough, that's fine. I just wish they'd said to me before. I probably could have found it out. In all honesty, yeah, now I'm saying this, I probably could have found out very easily. But I just didn't listen. <laughs> you know what? It's fine. Don't even worry about it. I just hope they're not too rare. I like wasted that liquor bottle as well because I like did not need that shit. Does Toy Hammer even do any damage actually? Wait a minute. Oh, it just stuns. Okay, and she's regenerating TP though, so that's good. I'm glad I gave that to her. Right. Let's just go back to that peninsula. Because that's where I fought the last one, so I imagine that is probably a that is probably a place where they spawn. Good, <laughs> great, logical. Also, we need to take down that grave of that guy that said he exterminated these because clearly they're still there. And this is not what I wanted. Hut, 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 
you know, for people that are trying to bring back, ma like, stop mana from being, like, ruined and all that, Mint does not have an issue with Acid Rain. Like, I feel like we should not do that. The environment, you know? I feel like I talked about this last time, but I haven't heard of Acid Rain in a while. Which is good, to be fair. We have um, other things to worry about right now. This is like a fucking helicopter flying above my house at the minute, and I'd really rather it go away. If I'm being completely honest. Right, that wasn't the Basilisk. So, if we just... Do I have a new skit? No? Okay, cool. Thanks, Arch. Okay. That was absolutely no help to me whatsoever. Sorry, I had to open my water bottle. Alright. So... Am I just running around now? Am I just... Am I just running and waiting? This is... Can I get encountered with like four or five of them? That's not what I wanted, actually. At least the thing is, with these guys... Like, a couple of hits, that's it. Um, if I've got like, two desert kings... Three scorpions, two vultures, two snakes. It's like, alright, well, can you just calm it down? Whereas if it's just two snakes, it's like, oh, like four hits, that's it. Klaus might try and use his um, techniques, but you know what, that's fine. We can deal with that. He'll get one off and then it'll be over. Basilisk. Yes. I'm gonna use the spectacle on you, actually. Why? Because I want to. See how much health you actually have. Thank you for acid rain. <laughs> oh. Oops. <laughs> no. Right, Mint, you can use that Panacea bottle on Klaus. Right, I'm gonna get Crest on the other side of him. That healed it. <laughs> okay, right, no, that's fine. It's okay. Four more. Four more. Right, okay, so Songi is his serious business because I genuinely thought it would be single target. Don't really know why I thought that. That's not what I wanted to pick. Um But you know what? Um now we know. And we can move on with that new knowledge in our heads and work this out. So let's just let's just spin. No I'm gonna give myself motion sickness. <laughs> I hope there's not, like, a trick to this. I hope it's just genuinely go and find these things. Because it's just a trick to it. I'll be upset, because I don't know what it is. And I'm probably not going to go and look for it, because in my mind, I'll be like, I, there's no trick. I'm not looking for a trick. I did see one over here, so... I hope it's just like the sandy sections where you can find one because, you know, I hope there's no like specific areas. <laughs> okay, well. Maybe 
the game is doing this to make sure that we're like a good level or something, you know? They're like, hmm, we need to make sure that these guys is aren't under leveled for the next section that's coming up or something like that. Although I feel like the Moria Mine would have done that. <laughs> you know? I don't know. I'm not not that I'm trying to find like logical reasons for why they're doing things. Because sometimes you just be doing things, you know? But you know, I would like to I would like to speak to the manager of whoever made the decision to do this. Oh lord. How many more do I have? Four? <laughs> he said five or six. So like five should be fine, right? Why don't we take more than one skill off the Basilisk at a time? Hmm? Why don't we hey, be efficient? Well, we'll get one, one more encounter. And then I'll go on its oasis. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for acid rain and the guys that I'm not targeting, man. Yet again. That's fine, I've got them this time. He stick his leggy up real far. I think the main thing we should take away from this is that it's a Sunday. And it's not raining in real life. So, like, that's good. That's also good. Also, I had a point in my head that I was like, oh, I need to bring this up. I don't know. if It's gone. Hi, do you have anything, like, important to say to me? This oasis shows a lot of bush babies living in it, huh? Yeah, they're my friends. Okay. Alright. You know what? You do you. I kind of wanted to speak to one of them there, but I didn't. <laughs> so I just left. Okay, let's go around here. Okay, I guess there's nothing over here. Is that like trees? That's Olive Village. That's literally Olive Village. <laughs> like, what's this secret location I can see in the distance? Oh, yes, we got. We got one. Mint, use this liquor bottle on Chris. Thanks. Okay, right, this is number three. This is good. Maybe it's at a set amount of encounters. I'm trying to logic this out. I don't think there is a logic to it. I think it is just something that happens. I can see his teeth. Okay, right, that's good. Number three, number three. Two or three more. This is what we want to see. <laughs> Wait. 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 We didn't get one. Are you telling me it's not guaranteed that they'll drop? I need to take a minute. I need to take a minute. <clears throat> no, 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 no. This is my least favorite part of the game. I will be mentioning this in my video. I'll be like, this part's disgusting. Can I go to this tar in the middle? That looks like... Oh, it's got lava around it. I don't want to go in there. <laughs> I changed my mind. Um, I'm trying to distract myself from the heinous thing that I just discovered. Is that the basilisks are... Just random encounters, there's no guarantees, and even if you do fight one, you're not guaranteed that they'll drop skill. So I'll be getting five, and that's it. Edward wants any more. He can go get them himself? They're right there. You know what? Like, they exist. They were not exterminated. Whoever told us that was lying. Like, the guy who's buried for exterminating the Basilisks didn't do a very good job. 
because they're not extinct. Stink. Okay, right. Here's one. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. Liquor bottle on Chris. Chris? Oop. That was horrifying and disgusting, actually. I hated that. I was gonna say, can you, can you start casting spells, please? Right, it only has like three, four, fives in health, so... If we use Undini and Self a couple of times... Like, that's like 500... A pop. And then we got like Tractor Beam and stuff, and that's a couple more hundred. And then whatever Crest is doing, Mint is standing there. She's, she's, she's got Acid Rain. Which will make more damage happen. So this is good. Okay. If you don't drop... Plague. Plague. I'm going to lose my fucking mind. In a moment. Like, do I have anything that increases item drop rates? Movement speed, nullify, manual, turret beam, fight symbol, black onyx, sources ring, resist ring. No, I don't. Uh huh, uh huh. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, um. Do I have any items to do this? Battle. No. Thicker. Um, Fleur? No. Apple? Okay, okay. So, it's just... I just got lucky twice, I guess. <laughs> this is disgusting. Part of me is like, should I just come back when I've got them all? Other part of me is, if I have to do this, I have to show it. And I have to make everyone else experience this. Okay, no, this is good, this is good. Right, okay, if we can... Yeah, thanks, Maxwell. Okay, that was a good thousand damage. That was another good thousand damage. With an F. Give me a skill. Oh, thank the Lord. <laughs> I thought I was like, no, not again. Okay, right, this is good. This is good, two more. We are past the halfway point. This is very exciting news. Like, I'm just trying to think. I'm like, there's definitely another game that I can think of that I really enjoy that makes you do something like this. And I can't think what it is. Maybe I'm making it up. I don't know. When I played Dark, Dark Cloud 2, also known as Dark Chronicle in the PL places. It may not be PL, it might just be in the West, but I don't know. I played like the first dungeon and then stopped playing for some reason. Um, I remember it being like, oh, you need this, this, and this to craft these things. And it's like, how do I get these? And it's like, Go and grind. And then I went, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Whereas in um, the first Star Cloud a game, in which I've also only completed the first dungeon, um, it goes, we're going to give you everything you need, as far as I remember. Like, you just find the thingamajigs in the dungeons. And then that's it. Where, am I going back to heal? Yeah, I am. Okay. I'm going back to heal. And also, if the guy, like, you know, like, if you're like, I have three, that's enough. I know you said five or six, but, like, can you cut me a deal? Also, like, why, why are you saying five or six? Why not just say five? Why not just say six? Why are you confusing me? Like, if it was, like, a simple thing, like, in real life, it would be fine. But, like, this is, like, life-or-death medicine, apparently, so... 
Sorry, I was taking a sip of my water and I was using my control stick to move on my real PS1. Oh my god. Which I won't be doing again, because it's very awkward, apparently. Um... And it turns out holding the controller on its side and using the control stick to move, not the most intuitive thing in the world. Thanks, man. Thank you. That's what I was going to bring up. Yes, I was watching the opening before I started recording, obviously. Um, and I thought about how at the end of the opening, Morrison is there. I'm like, why are you here? Why, why do you get a spot in the opening? You were there for like five minutes. You might be dead. You could come back. You could come back. We don't know. Well, someone knows. A lot of people probably know. I don't know. Um, but I just wonder why he got like a prominent place in the opening when I was gonna say when there's characters that do more that should be there. I don't know who they are. Max, Ifrit, um, Undini, any of them. <laughs> Let's record on this battle. I'm gonna check. Yeah, we could put Maxwell in the opening, that would be fun. <laughs> I don't know what he would do. He would manipulate molecules, obviously. He would be doing his shit. Well, actually, now to think about it, I don't think any of the summon spirits show up in any of the openings, so, you know. That's the same one. That is the same one. I'm not watching it again, because they'll go, Where are the basilisks? In the desert. It's like, wow, thank you. Thanks, man. At least I'm wiping out the Basilisk Menace, you know, because these people in the town seem to be terrified of them. This would be an awful place to live. First of all, like, you know, there's the eternal threat of war with um, some guy who is not human. Um, there's all these creatures flying about, you know, it just seems like not very nice. <laughs> like, especially this desert. Um, in this world, like, these people are horrified of these basilisk things and there's not really much they can do about it because anyone that, like, comes into contact with them is more than likely going to get turned into stone. So, you know, that's not nice. Okay, here we go, here we go. Alright, okay, while I'm here, men use a liquor bottle on Chris. Okay, no, this is fine. This is gonna be number four. That's a horrible, and I'd really rather you never use that again. And I said that to your friend, and you know where they are now? Hell. Because not one of you is getting to heaven. Maxwell, I was like, be so serious, <laughs> please. Number four! One more time. Okay, okay, okay. No, we got this. We got this. We just have to wander around for another 20 minutes. And we'll have it. It'll be fine. It will literally be fine. Like, don't even worry about it. Don't. I, I can feel your worry through the screen. Don't do it. Stop. I'll be fine. I may lose my mind. <laughs> That was going to happen eventually anyway, so let's not worry about it whatsoever. I just thought, I was like, what am I going to do after this? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Figure it out. I have to go buy lunch for tomorrow, I think. What do I have? Let's, let's decide. What am I having for lunch tomorrow? Ham or chicken? Sandwich. I'm 50-50 bread because white bread, that's a no-no for me. And um, I think that full brown bread is just not, not very nice. And I'm not gonna apologize for that. So I have to buy the stuff with um, hidden seeds so that it's good for me, but also I can't taste it. <laughs> Which makes me feel like a six-year-old child. But at the same time, I'm like, you know, I have a sensitive body. <laughs> like. There's, there are a lot of things I can't eat because my body will just go, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> Which is really fun. Um, 
really um, kind of stifles my diet a little bit. <laughs> there was a time where I couldn't eat, um, like, one of my favourite meals, spaghetti bolognese, um, because it's easy to make and it's really nice, but um, I couldn't get it for ages because I was, my body was going through something and we were convinced that it was the bolognese and to, to be fair, it was, it was, there was something in the brand of sauce I was using that um, was just not agreeing with me. This is a really fun topic of conversation. Um, and I just had to stop. I was actually so upset. But we just found a new one. I, say, I keep saying we. Me. I. Personally. Myself by myself. Um, we just found a new one. And now it's fine. So now I, like, life is worth living again. <laughs> Okay, well, anyway, it's the basilisks. Thanks for using that after I use my big attack. I mean, you know what? It's better than nothing. Come on. Die, big stink, pleak. Where's this scorpion? Did it, like, leave? It went, nah, I'm not doing this. No thank you. Okay, it knows better than to approach. Okay, I've never seen that sprite of it lying on the ground like that. That was kind of scary, actually. Okay, next, the next encounter is going to be a basilisk. And it's going to give me a fang, a skeel. I hope it doesn't give me a fang because I don't want that or need that. Um, is that onto the mainland? Can I open the map again? That's the skip button. I didn't want that. Sorry, I know this is like not important whatsoever. Um, world map. Okay. Yeah, it goes up towards Midgard. Okay. Cool. Um, <laughs> not really where I want to be right now. Although I imagine Edward is probably going to tell me to go there whenever we find him. We'll be like, Edward, how do we fix these rings? Because I genuinely forgot, like, why we needed to find you. Um, and then he's gonna go. Go to make art. Like, literally just go to make art. They've got a ring fiction shop. And it does work with packed rings. Um, how do I know that? Don't ask questions. You aren't prepared to know the answers, true. <sighs> okay, where is this stupid basilisk? This must be the last one on Earth. And if I fight this one and get five skills, and um, I get back, and he's like, actually, I would prefer six. I don't. He'll be dead. Dead man. Okay, right. Cool, 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 cool. Mint uses the liquor bottle on Chris. Okay, this is it. This is it. It's the last one we need to fight. I'm not gonna say hopefully. I'm gonna say it will. It will be. There's no hope in here, it's just certainty. He's using stone gaze, but it's fine because I hit him in the eyes before he could do it. Also, Cress is drunk, so he's not gonna get turned to stone. It's fine. Like, don't even worry about it. Can you start casting, please? Think, <laughs> please. It's not, it's not optional. So this is the first spell you've used. Okay, come on. Come on! Okay. No, it's 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 fine. It's 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 fine. I'm dealing with this the way a normal person would. I'm being so normal about this, actually. Should I just release this section as a mega episode? No. <laughs> Maybe I will. I'll just get it out of the way. I think I will, actually. Oh, ooh, this is the luckiest I've ever been in my life. Which means my luck's about to run out. Well, I'm actually like an incredibly lucky person. I really live by, you know that. Um, it was a thing on TikTok ages ago, and it was like lucky girl um, syndrome or whatever. And you just go about your life going like, I'm literally the luckiest person on earth. Every single thing in life just works out for me. I live by that, but like it. 
in my case, it's like real. I am like actually the luckiest person on earth. And everything does just work out for me. Like literally just goes the way I need it to go. And even if something is going to go wrong, it works out in the end. And that is, I think that's so special. <laughs> Please. Yes! I'm gonna go confirm in my inventory that I can count. And if I can't, I'll be so disappointed. <laughs> but, um, 